Welcome to our video tutorial on citing a resource from Google Scholar. This is method one, copy and paste. The first step is to make sure that you have signed up for our school account through EasyBib. To do that, you can go to hoochlearningstudio.wordpress.com and when you get to the Hooch Learning Studio website for our media center, look in the top box on the right that says library resources. Go down to the link that says Research Guides at LibGuides and click on that link. Once you're here, our guide is in the left column where it says Harrison and Garth 10th Literature Composition. Then go to the second tab that says Easy Bib Help and Information. All of our tutorial videos for citing different sources through Easy Bib are housed on this page. To get started though, you'll look at the first tab where it says register an account and sign up. Click on the link that says click on our special link. This will ask you to fill in your first and last name, an email that you can access, and choose a password. The only requirement is that it must be six characters. Leave the last two boxes exactly as they are. We have our special coupon code that gives you the ad-free version of EasyBib and click on sign up. Just a quick reminder that anytime you want to access your citation list in EasyBib, make sure that you log in with your email address and the password that you have chosen. Once you have registered for EasyBib, you will click on new project and you're going to give your project a name that is school appropriate. So maybe I'm doing social media and teens, seventh period. You don't have to choose a subject and you don't have to put what you're writing about. It's okay to leave those blank. Leave your list at MLA style and click on create. Now click on the bibliography. To get started, let's go to our um, article that we have found through Google Scholar. Let's say that this is the article that I want to use. What you can do with the first method, copy and paste, is to click on Cite, and then you can do the copy and paste method. I'm going to go back into my EasyBib account, and we're going to go to all 59 options. This is the last tab on the far right. Underneath Other, choose Write and Paste Citation. We will paste that entry. This is not the preferred method, but sometimes it is the fastest and the quickest. We primarily try to not use copy and paste unless it's kind of a last minute emergency situation or there's no other option, simply because once we create it, we can't really work with the entry and edit multiple fields, as you'll see in some of the other tutorial videos, when you're able to export a citation from our other databases that you can get to through Mac and Via. For now, though, this works. This is one method of adding the citation. In the second video entry, we'll show you a little bit more complicated but more robust way of pulling that entry in if you would like to try the second method. This concludes our video tutorial on the copy-paste method for citing something you found through Google Scholar.